years, I have learned a lot on my own and have found that the most important thing to managing and maintaining your lymphedema is actually stimulating your lymphatics. And it's not just stimulating your lymphatics, but it's also the order in which you do it. Your lymphatic system is a one-way system. The fluid all dumps into your neck and it's like a vacuum cleaner that goes kind of out to all of your limbs. So if your core is clogged, um, it's gonna be really hard to drain your limbs. The other thing is, is that I'm really lazy and I hate, hate exercising. So I find all different ways to stimulate my lymphatics without having to actually sit down and do real exercise. So one thing that I've come up with that I've found really helpful, especially when I get up in the morning and I'm feeling really heavy or achy or brain fog, is a lymph stimulating shower. So to do this, before I get in the shower, I just take my fingers and put it at my neck. And this is again is where all the fluid enters into. And right at my collarbones, I just put my, like kind of put my fingers in, I think you can see that. And I just gently pump to just try to make sure any nodes right there are drained and that the fluid's been pushed back into my venous system. So I'm just gonna pump it just a little bit and that way it starts to clear things out. I'm gonna tell you the order that I do and the different um, tools, I guess, that I use to stimulate my lymphatics and then, uh, and you can use what you want, you can come up with your own routine, but again, the order is what matters. So I wanna make sure you know, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a healthcare professional, I have nothing to do with medicine, um, I'm just somebody who lives with lymphedema and has figured out ways to help myself help my lymphedema. And all of the products that I use are all, all natural, so I don't use any parabens, um, I don't know, any of the junk, I just try to stick with shea butters, coconut oils, you know, just the basics and the cleanest stuff I possibly can get. First thing I do after I've done the pumping on my neck that I showed you before, is I get in the shower, I wet my hair, I take my shampoo, and first I just scrub my head. And what I do is I just make sure that I really like get in there with my fingers and kind of scrub around. And then once I do that, I rinse it out, and then I put in my conditioner. And then once I get the conditioner in my hair, I use this, and it's a, a scalp massager. It feels really, really, really good. And what I usually do is I start kind of at the back down there and then I just kind of work up. So there, and then for me, the crown, like when I do that, I can really feel a draining sensation um, through my head. Now, the biggest ways that I feel draining is I feel post-nasal drip. So when I feel my nose starting to like, you know, post-nasal drip feeling on my neck, I know I'm starting to stimulate and move my lymphatics and get that, you know, get my lymphatic fluid moving. So, um, so I find like the crown is really helpful and then I work up and then usually I just go one more time, I start up and then I work down. So, and I just love the feeling of this. So again, it's a scalp massager. Um, I will make sure that I list all of my tools and where you can get that. Then the next thing I do is I wash my face, um, my chest and my hands. What I've been using is I use a soft, um, the Alba, I don't know, Hawaiian facial wash, but again, you can use any soft facial wash you want. And then I guess I was told that this one is out, which is the Burt's um, Beeswax, and it's a citrus facial scrub. So I don't know if you can see it, but basically it's got like a little grit to it, but not too much. And why I like the grit is because I feel like it really helps kind of stimulate all of my lymphatic vessels. So I put the two in my hand, I put them on, and then I just start and I kind of scrub around up to the top of my face. Again, you know, working that directional thing in my neck and then I kind of get my chest and then I get my hands and then there's two things you can do um, you can get these they're just like little facial washers um, it's very manual and what you just do is I usually just start on my neck and I just do little circular motions and it's kind of following the same idea as uh, what's it called dry brushing you know so I'm just kind of moving up and then I really work on getting in all of the nooks and crannies you know, I get the sides of my nose, the top of my nose, top of my eyes, under my eyes. So as you can see, I'm always working up and out. And then I do my chest. And then last but not least, as I'm, things are moving, um, I used to get fluid into my hands, but now I don't. So I just use this to kind of just do circular motions again, first on my palm 
and then on the back of my hand, up my fingers like that. Um, if you use the manual one. Um, this is like a little face scrubber and it's really cool because it has like a vibration mode but it also has like this little kneading thing so I can put it on so it needs and it vibrates at the same time so it feels really good because it's pushing in against my lymphatics which again what that does is it helps to push and release which helps the lymphatic fluid be taken in by those vessels then I just kind of follow the same thing in the circular motion you know and again it's feeling that post nasal drip is really helpful a lot of things you also feel, you start to feel clearer in your head, um, you feel more relaxed, lighter, you know, there's all these kinds of sensations you'll start to feel if you listen to your body. So again, remember that, um, you know, the, the order matters. And then I actually have, right now I'm wearing my, um, I'm wearing my prosthetics, but I have two scars that go across. So I just make sure to also, you know, go across my scars. And then the same thing, I do my hands because every time I do my hand, it's just really helpful. And again, I just do the little circles. I found the circles are the nicest. One hand and then the same with the other hand. Next, after I do my face, I do my back. The back for me is crucial because that's the only place that didn't have any major surgeries, cuts across my lymphatics. So it's the part of my body that drains the best. So I want to make sure that it's super clear so that the other, you know, so fluid can be moved there and then help to, you know, get back into my lymphatic system. So I take this and I go into the back. Okay. And I start at the top and I scrub along. Okay. And then I come up and I go along my sides and then along this other side to kind of open everything up and then cross my back and then up my back and try to get everything. And then usually one more time, I just hit back up here. Then the other thing, um, I tend to hold a lot of fluid in my tush, so this is really helpful. So I take this and I just do little circles around my tush, especially like in here, I try to make sure that either I use my fingers, I use the body scrub or I use this to try to open up those um, vessels in here to help drain my legs. And then of course I do the other side here. Okay, and then I do my, oh, and then I do my legs. And again, it's the same thing when you start to go into your limbs, it's moving towards the end of it. It's never starting at the bottom and moving up. Because again, we're trying to clear, 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 so everything can keep moving up through this like vacuum type system. Okay, so then I do my legs. So I do the inside. And then really, for me, that's helpful um, to help drain my foot. For some reason, the outside of my calves help drain. So I just kind of scrub on the outside. And then I do the same thing over here. I just scrub, 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 scrub. I try to get everywhere and then along the calf right there too. Um, so yeah, so when you get these, you don't want it too stiff, but you don't also want it too soft. You want it to have like a little bite, but not too much. And again, oh, when you do this, make sure you put soap on it so that, you know, that the bristles, even though they're a little firmer, they glide across your skin. Um, you want to be very careful with anything that you use that doesn't cause micro abrasions, which are just little cuts in the skin. Um, lymphedema loves bacteria, or bacteria loves lymphedema, sorry about that, and uh, can lead to something called cellulitis, which um, I have a blog post on uh, Soul Day US if you want to do that. I'll put that in the things just if you want to read about that. But cellulitis is, a, you know, is an infection and it can be... Um, you know, it can definitely put you at risk. So if you notice that areas are swollen, red or hot, make sure that you seek medical attention right away. Okay, so again, so soap is your friend with all of this that I'm doing. This is my most favorite. I've tried so many sponges. This one has just the nice amount of grit, but also like softness at the same time. So with this, usually what I do is I start at the bottom of my stomach, the same thing. I do everything in circular motions and I work up and I'm again, now I'm really focusing on clearing my core. I definitely do it on my neck to make sure I put like, you know, light pressure. And then my arms, it feels really good here again for me is a great place to drain. So I do lots of circles. And again, I work out towards my fingertips, the same thing. And then I kind of scrub here and the same thing. I just do little circles. I like to sometimes just scrub right there and then sometimes I go back and scrub here. The more you do this, the more you're going to know the feeling you're going for that you can really feel things are moving and draining. Okay, so you're going to keep circling here 
And then again, like I said, my tush is a place that really likes to get blocked. So once again, I just give my tush a good scrubbing. And then, you know, and then I just literally move down my legs. My legs actually, I go forward and back. So, but making sure, especially you get behind your knees because there's nodes in there. And then all the way down, same thing on this leg. Scrub, 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 scrub. You know, the same thing. Trying to hit every surface area of your skin. Okay. And then lastly, and I find again, very important, is um, I use this foot scrubber. If I need to, I do use the pumice on my heel, um, just if my skin starts to get a little thick. So just, you know, but you have to be very careful because you don't want to cut yourself with this. And then my favorite thing is the foot scrubber. So again, it has a little bit more of bug bite to it. You put some soap on it and then, you know, I do the top of my foot like that. And then I make sure to do the bottom of my foot and under my toes. And then the same thing on this. I start at the top. I scrub, scrub, scrub. And then I get the bottom and underneath my toes. After I do that, I turn the water down to a cooler temperature, whatever you can tolerate. And I make sure, I usually start with my face and the cool water kind of trickles down my face. And then I go there, I put my arm underneath the cool water, I put my back, I stick my butt out, I put my legs out, you know, I try to hit every part of my body with the cool water. What that does is it now constricts all of the vessels, which really forces those fluids through the system. Um, so that's an important part and it's really helpful, but it's not the funnest part of taking that shower. But then afterwards, I turn it back up to a little bit warm again. Again, you never want to do it too hot because too hot will have your, your venous system sending out too much fluid. So you want it like tempered so you're comfortable with it. Okay, so then I rinse out my hair, you know, after I do that with the warm water so then I'm kind of warmed up again. Then before I get out of the shower, and again, I just picked this oil up from Marshalls, but again, you want to try to find as natural one. I think there's almond oils, there's all kinds of, there's coconut oil. Um, and I use the oil and I use what I found was actually, it was, it's a, a brush to get dog hair off of your furniture, but I found it is the best dry brush ever because it's rubber. What it's not going to do is it's never going to cut you and it glides really well, but at the same time, it has a nice grit onto your skin, so it can pull it. With this, I usually start on my neck, and I usually start kind of behind my ears to make sure I'm draining there, and I just, you know, little kind of brushes, and then I go to my face, I'll take off my glasses. This feels so good when you're all done, and you just kind of, underneath the eyes, you know, you just kind of keep doing it and then I do up my stomach there, up my arms again, always starting at the bottom and working out to the ends with the nice little, the little brushes here. You can just do a little bit cause you're just trying to, you know, get through the, just, you know, getting any last little bit of fluid into those vessels. And then again, sometimes I do my stomach twice and then I go around. I, of course, always hit my lower back, my tush, just like that again. And then up my legs, as you can see. And then I continue that all the way down. And then to my feet. Can I do that? Yes. Okay. So um, this feels great. Then after I'm done, even with my towel, I still work from my core out. So. Again, I start and I do like brushes up and I usually like take my hands and push in and swoop up. So I go here, then I take my towel, old fashioned in the back, and I just shimmy it down like that all the way down my butt. Because again, I'm trying to clear that because that's the best place to move fluid to. And then I use my towel and again, I start at the base of my arms and work out. The same thing on this arm and work out. And then the same with my legs, starting from the top and working down when I dry it. So that takes care of kind of my shower routine that I do. Uh, then I can go about my day. I feel so much better because I feel more clear, lighter. Um, I always put on my act massage garments after I finish my shower. So here I'm wearing the act massage arm sleeve that connects in the back. This is one of my go-to garments. I've been wearing it for about 10 years. Um, it makes this little bit of the squigglies on my arm and what that is is it's 
uneven pressure. So every time I move, it's also continuing to push and release off of those vessels, stimulating to stimulating them to take in that excess fluid. On the bottom today, I'm wearing our new um, Act Massage Opaque Legging. As you can see, if you wear our Act Massage garments, it's not see-through, but it's still not quite a legging, but because of the seams, but you can definitely get away with it. And I have that paired with my mid-calf sock. I wear my mid-calf sock underneath it because at the end, unfortunately, the wave pattern doesn't continue to the ankle. So I put the mid-calf sock underneath and then I put the legging over it, so that way I still get the massaging fabric all the way from the tip of my tummy all the way to the tips of my toes. All right, have a great day, everyone. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.